Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you the long-awaited benchmarking video. So I'm using the AMD FX 8350 and uh, GTX 960 to test some of the most graphically demanding yet popular games, and I am using two gigabytes of video RAM, and my benchmarks are in 900p, not 1080. So 1080p would make the FPS slightly lower, but it wouldn't make too much of a difference. So um. Yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. First up, we have Battlefield 4. Um, my low was 70, my average was 81, and my high was 92 on all ultra settings. So the game was pretty much, uh, pretty much maxed out. Um, I had some issues where the textures would be loading in, but considering the maps were so big, you really can't complain about that. But otherwise, um, Battlefield 4 was one of the games that I got a PC for, and it runs really great, and you'll have no issues um, when it comes to lag or anything so yeah it's great and uh, now we have CSGO I had the game maxed out because it's not a very demanding game yet it's still quite popular and I play it a lot it's probably my most played game my low is 130 my average was 150 and I had a high of 160 FPS um, I had no issues playing CSGO it was really good and if you're gonna use this processor and this GPU on CSGO, you'll have no trouble whatsoever. And um, yeah guys, so next up we have Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, I had all high settings rather than very high, um, and I was actually surprised at the performance I got. I had an average of 60 FPS literally on the dot. Um, my low was, on, was uh, 54 and my high was 65. Um, it was very, you know, close together, 54 to 65, but I still ran the game really well. I had some texture loading issues, but honestly, unless you have a really good eye for um, texture stuff, then, you know, you'd have a good time playing this game. And um, lastly, we have Mortal Kombat X. This was the game that performed the worst on uh, the 8350 and 960. Um, the port needs some work. I recorded these a while ago, so a patch may have changed it, but I noticed some lagging, you know, in almost all the gameplay I've seen, so I guess it just needs work. So my low is 35, my average was 47, and my high was 58 on high settings, but it was not really noticeable. However, I did have a lot of crashes with this game. Now, I also want to touch on Batman Arkham Knight. Now, this game has a terrible port. I'm not going to go in depth about the problems it has, but I'm going to tell you about the problems that I've had. So I took off the FPS cap, so I get about 40 to 60 FPS, which is pretty good. Um, the game definitely does look a lot smoother than it does with the 30 FPS cap. And um, there is a ton of lag spikes and frame drop and like uh, dropping frames. Um, it's actually better than most things because I've seen that people who are using 970s and i5s get not even above 10, PS, 10 FPS. So, you know, it does run pretty pretty well and if you can get it for a cheap price and um, you can, you know, if the FPS drop doesn't really matter to you that much, the game is still really good but you will have to you know notice these little drops at some points but that's about it guys I hope this helps thank you for watching I'll see you guys later bye